Hi there, we hope you enjoyed our last video which was all about the hips and the lower back. Today we're going to be focusing our attention on the upper legs. Now we know that a lot of people have been choosing running as their one form of exercise in this strange time, so you may be feeling tightness that you're perhaps not used to in your legs. In this video we'll be looking at some useful stretches and self-massage techniques for the upper leg as well as some self-massage techniques for the ITB. The ITB can be particularly problematic for people as it's a multi-purpose tendon rather than a muscle therefore it's a lot harder to stretch. It runs all the way along the outer thigh from the hip all the way down to the knee and when it's tight it can cause problems like knee and hip pain. So self-massage techniques are a really good way to prevent or alleviate this. For a hamstring stretch, targeting the muscles at the back of the upper leg, start with both legs stretched out in front of you and then bend one leg at your knee with your foot resting flat against your inner thigh above your knee joint. Keep the other leg straight and flex the foot to engage the leg. Slowly bend from your waist and reach over the straight leg with your arms until you feel the stretch in the back of your upper leg. Although you want to feel the stretch, only go as far as comfortable. If you don't feel particularly flexible, a good tip is to use breath to help to increase the stretch. While holding the stretch over the extended leg, breathe in and out slowly. On each out breath, try and bend slightly further forward into the stretch. You can also use a band or something to replicate a band, which Claire is doing here with this bag, to increase the stretch further. Place the band on the ball of the flexed foot and pull the flexed foot towards you and also lean from the waist into it to increase the stretch. Hold this stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat on the opposite leg. The lying down quad stretch targets the front of your upper legs. On your side, with your legs out straight and your upper body propped up at the elbow, bend your knee and use your other hand to draw your foot towards your bottom until you start to feel the stretch in the front of your upper leg. For a deeper quad stretch, you can slowly draw the bent leg further away from the straight leg. If you are struggling to stay steady, you can bend the straight leg to help with balance. Again, only go as far as feels comfortable and hold for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat on the opposite side. A lovely stretch for the adductor muscles, which are found on the inside of the leg, is the butterfly stretch. It can be done seated or lying down and Claire is now going to demonstrate the lying down version. From a bent knee position, place the soles of your feet together and let the knee slowly drop either side. You will feel the stretch in your groin area. To increase this stretch, you can move your feet closer to the body and you can also hold this stretch for a longer period of say a minute or so allowing gravity to increase the stretch for you. In a seated position and with one hand on top of the other, start at the side of your leg just above your knee and use a raking movement with the fingers to pull up and across the IT band. Work all the way up the band until you get to the hip joint. This can be done two or three times remembering to start just above the knee and to work upwards. To increase intensity, repeat the same movement with your hand in a fist position and using the pressure of the knuckles. Place the opposite hand over the knuckles to help support the wrist joint. Repeat two or three times. Use the palm of your hand to vigorously rub the area. With all these techniques, work across the IT band rather than using an upward motion. This will help to release the IT band from the surrounding muscles. For the quadriceps, warm up the muscle by gliding alternate hands up the front of the thigh, starting just above the knee and working up the hip. Increase the pressure by changing this to knuckles. Clasp the hands together and from just above the knee squeeze and hold the muscle. Work up the leg. 
Modify this by squeezing and then rolling the muscle. Again, working the whole of the upper leg towards the hip. Use a one hand squeezing motion to work deeper into the inside of the legs. And if you find any sticky areas, don't be afraid to circle that area with the thumb. Use your elbow now and forearm to work up the front of the leg towards your hip. Start just above the knee and use a rocking motion to work from the outside to the inside of the leg. Again, if you find a sticky area, you can pause your elbow at that point, gently increase the pressure, as well as circling on that area to help with release. Finish with some gentle gliding motions. For the back of the legs, in a standing position, bend your leg and prop it up on a chair. Wrapping both hands around the legs and using your fingertips, press into sections of the hamstring, working from just above the knee and up the leg towards the hip. Claire will now do the same action but also use the fingertips to apply a slight upwards pulling motion towards the hip. Hold this pull and slowly try to straighten the leg. Release and bend the leg and then repeat the same action up the hamstring. Be mindful of the back and lean forward from the waist when straightening the leg. We hope you have found today's video useful and any questions please don't hesitate to get in touch via email or through one of our social media platforms. Thank you so much again for watching.